Welcome to another very beautiful chess game of Paul Morphy. And in this game, Paul Morphy has the white pieces, and his opponent is a player with no name. This game has been played in New Orleans in 1856, and Paul Morphy surrendered one of his rooks. He is playing with the rook rooks, and Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to c3. Normally, Paul Morphy likes to play knight to f3 in the openings, and then bishop to c4, the Italian opening. But this time, he is playing knight to c3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, bishop to c5, knight from g to e2, knight to f6. And Paul Morphy played f4, allowing black to play knight to g4, and then jumping on f2. Forking the king and the rook. Knight to g4. Paul Morphy played knight to g3, and then black plays. Knight to f2. Probably Paul Morphy was expecting this move. Black is forking the queen and the rook. But Paul Morphy played queen to h5. Threatening checkmate, queen to f7. And in this position, black played a very bad move, and black castled. The better move was g6, blocking the queen. We have castling. Paul Morphy played f5, allowing black to capture the rook. He is not going for the material. Knight takes rook. And once again, Paul Morphy didn't even capture the knight. And he sacrificed his d pawn, d4, opening the diagonal for the bishop. Knight takes on d4, and black is two rooks up. Black has two extra rooks. And Paul Morphy lost both of his rooks. Paul Morphy played bishop to g5, attacking the queen. Bishop to e7. Bishop takes bishop, queen takes on e7. Knight to d5, attacking the queen. Queen to d6. f6, damaging the pawn structure and also creating weakness in the king side. But black played knight to e6. Knight to e7, that's check. King to h8. Paul Morphy captures the knight with the bishop. Queen takes bishop. F takes on g7. Only move, king takes on g7. Knight from g to f5. That's check. And black played king to h8. If king to f6, then queen to h4. That's checkmate. So we have king to h8, and it's white to move. And can you guess the killer move in this position? Can you guess the most accurate move that has been played by Paul Morphy? Paul Morphy played queen to g5, threatening checkmate, queen to g7, and how to defend. Black is losing in this position and if defending with the rook rook to g8 queen takes rook that's checkmate of course so the only defense queen to g6 a very desperate move and then paul morphy captures the queen with the knight knight takes on g6 f takes on g6 and in this position not every moves are good for white. And once again, can you guess the most accurate move for white? Paul Morphy played queen to e7, the most accurate move. Threatening checkmate, queen takes rook on f8. Also queen to g7, that's checkmate. So how to defend? Black played. Rook takes knight, e takes on f5, 
and if rook to g8, queen takes on e5, let's check. Rook to g7, queen takes rook, let's checkmate. So rook takes knight, pawn takes rook, and again, Paul Morphy is threatening checkmate, queen to f8. So black played king to g8 and then f6. Paul Morphy played f6 and black resigned. White is threatening checkmate, queen to g7, and there is no defense in this position. That's why black resigned. The possible continuation is very obvious. h5, a random move, then queen to g7, that's checkmate. That's why after f6, it's all over for black. But we can say that black was a very weak player, but still, it was a beautiful chess game. And also, it was an instructive chess game for showing the importance of the development by Paul Morphy. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.